a battle over releasing body cam videos. On Friday, Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar wrote a letter to county commissioners saying he plans on releasing videos 30 days after an incident occurs. But that's not what county leaders agreed to. Eyewitness News reporter Troy Clash shares how it has upset those who've lost a loved one at the hands of law enforcement. A soldier shouldn't have to come home from the battlefield and find themselves cut down. Damian Daniels' death still hurts his family and close friends. Bear County Sheriff's deputy shot and killed Daniels after responding to his home for a mental health call in August 2020. Edited body cam video was released one year and four months after his death. You have to go through the investigation, but two years is way past the um, reasonable time. In December, Sheriff Javier Salazar proposed a 30 day release policy and asked for additional staff and technology upgrades. County commissioners approved a 10 day release policy. And I believe that that was done capriciously and out of malice by by one county commissioner who's no longer on the court. And so I disagreed with it. Sheriff Salazar wrote a letter this week stating he will formalize their policy to release video in 30 days. If he gets his new tech, the sheriff says he will work towards changing it from 30 to 10 days, upsetting to County Commissioner Tommy Calvert. We're going to try to work this out amicably, but um, I just really believe uh, both from a political and tactical standpoint to get what he wants. This is this kind of talk is very much counterproductive. The deputy who shot Daniels in 2020 wasn't indicted, but his loved ones feel their family and others deserve answers as soon as possible. It took them 45 minutes to murder my brother. Why do you need time to release an eyewitness account? Make that make sense to me. Troy Kless, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.